Okay guys, so we've downloaded and installed the Divi theme. Now we're finally going to create our awesome website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the home page. So we'll come up to this black menu bar. And by the way, you're the only one that sees this because you're the admin and you're logged in. Anyone else that comes to your website, they're not going to see this. So we'll click Enable Visual Builder. Uh, this is our tour. kind of tells you how to do this and how to do that. Uh, but I'm going to show you all that stuff. So we can click Start Building. And here you can see they give you three options. Build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout, clone existing page. Uh, if you would click choose a pre-made layout, those Divi Builder Packs I told you about when you were signing up for Divi, it would show you all the different Divi Builder Packs and you could choose one and that would be your pre-made layout. But we're gonna build from scratch, so we'll click Start Building. Normally I would insert a row, but first I wanna put in my background image. So I'm gonna close this off, come over here to the left and click the gear icon. I'm going to choose background. I'm going to click the image icon. And where it says add background image, I'm going to click that. And this is your media library. This is where all your images are going to be stored for your website. But first I have to upload it from my computer. So I'll click select files. And this is my background image. So I'm going to select it. Click open. And right now it's uploading onto my media library. Once you can see a thumbnail of the image, that means it's finished uploading. So I'll click Upload an Image. And now you can see my background image. But as you can see, you can only see part of it. So I want to put a little bit of padding there to bring more of it down. So I'm going to go to Design, Spacing. I'm going to go to Padding, Bottom, type in 275. And there you can see that I added some padding. I'm going to click the green check mark, Save Changes. And now I want to put in some uh, text blocks here. So I'm going to come over and click the green circle. And this will add a new row. And because I want my text on the left side of the screen, I'm going to click a two column layout. And now I want to add a text module. So I'll come to the search bar, and type text. Click text. And as you can see, it adds text. Whatever I type in here in the body is going to show up on screen in real time. So I'm going to delete this and type in my text. I'm going to hit enter for the next line. And now I want to align the text into the center. So I'll click here. Now I want to make each of these a heading. So I'll highlight the first one, come up to where it says paragraphed, and choose heading one. I'll highlight the second one, come up and choose heading two. And now I need to change the font, the color, and the size. So I'm going to come over here to design, click it, and when I hover over heading text you can see it highlights it because it's heading text. So I'm going to click this down arrow. It defaults to heading 1. So I'm going to come down here and I want to change the font to Arial. And I want to make it light. Next, I want to change the color of the white. And I want to change the heading text size to 38. That looks good. Next we'll go to heading 2. We'll click H2. And I'm going to change this to Arial as well. And this I want to be bold. I'm going to make it white as well. So I'll click white. And I'm going to change the text size to 48. Actually 46 I think. That looks good, because that way they line up. Now, I want this to be this second line to be closer to this first line. So where it says Heading to Line Height, I'm going to take it down a bit. And as I take it down, it'll move up. That looks good. As you can see, it kind of goes into my image here, but th that's OK. We're going to fix that later. So I'm going to Save Changes, and I'm going to add another text block underneath. So I'll come up here, and I'll click this gray circle. And that allows me to add another module. So I'll click text again. And you can see it's another text module. So I'm going to come down and type in my next text block.
Okay, that looks good. Everything's spelled correctly. So now I'm going to go to design, text. I'm going to leave it on the default text font, but I want to change it to light. I want to change the color of the white. And I'm going to change the size to 20 picks. There we go. Now, I'm going to save the changes. As you can see, my text is running right into the image here, and you can't see it because it's white on white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move both of these text blocks over to here. And that's simple. We'll just go back to the text module, click the gear icon, go to Design, come down to Spacing, and here you have Margin and Padding. They're very similar. Margin is the spacing. You're going to change the spacing that's outside of the element which would be this text block. So anything I change would change the spacing over here, top, bottom, left, right. Padding, it adds uh, padding around your element. So let's say uh, there was a, a rectangular line here and I wanted to add space between the text and the rectangular line, I would add padding. So right now I'm gonna change the margin. And what I wanna do is simply come over where it says left, click, hold, and I'm just going to drag to the left, just like that, to wherever I want it to be. Uh, it looks pretty good right there. We'll go to th 375. That looks good. And I'm going to bring the top down. I want more space here. So I'm going to go to top and add some margin on top. If I drag to the right, it takes it adds margin on top. If I drag to the left, it lessens the margin on top. So I'm going to drag to the right, and we'll take it to 75. You can also use these arrow, up and down arrows here too if you want to get more precise by just one pixel. That looks good. Now we want to we want to do the same thing here. So I'll save the changes. I'll come over here, click the gear icon. Design, spacing, and I'm going to move, I want to move it to the left, so go to margin left, and I'll move it over here, and I want to line it up with the other text block, that looks good, 150, now you can see as I did that, my text became wider, so now I need to add some padding to the right, by clicking, holding, and dragging to the right. And I want it to line up with the text above it. I'm going to keep going. That looks good. I like that. Go to 220. So now you can see it. they're nice and uniform. They're lined up. Looks good. But there's still some space here. I want to lessen. So now I'm going to go to top margin, click, hold, and I'll move to the left. And we'll take it to uh, 10. Minus 10. That looks good. Okay. Now I want to add a button down here. So I'm going to save the changes here. And you can see there's some space here. I'm going to take care of that later. Right now I'm going to add a button. So I'll come over here. Click the plus circle, and this time I'm going to type button because I want a button module. Click button, and because my background is blue, you can't really see it, but there is actually a button here. See it says click here. So I'm going to change the wording to learn more. So I'll highlight, delete, and type. Next I want to change the color, so I'll go to design. Come down here and I'll go to button. This is where you make all your uh, style changes to your button. I'm going to click use custom styles for button. Yes. And that opens up the menu to change the styles of the button. I'm going to keep the button text size, but I want to change the button color to white, the text color. Keep going down. I want to change the background color to green. So I'll click here, add background color. I'll click green. That's too light. So I'm going to drag this circle to wherever the color I want. 
That looks pretty good right there. Here you can also change the opacity. If I want to make it translucent. And this the saturation all the way down to gray. So we keep that there. I'm going to come down. I don't want this white border. So where it says button border width, I'm going to take it to zero. And that gets rid of the white border. If I wanted, I could create a thicker border. Don't want that. It looks ugly. Button border color. Since I don't have a border, I'm not going to add a color. But if I wanted to, I could put a color here. Any type of color you want. But I don't want that. So, rid of the border. Button border radius. I want to have uh, rounded sides. So I'm going to increase the radius. And as you see, as I increase the radius, the corners become more rounded. So I'm going to take it to 50, so it's more of an oval button. That looks good. Button letter spacing, I'll keep that there. I'll keep the default font. Show button icon, I do not want a button icon, so I'll click that off. Button text shadow, I want to put a text shadow underneath the button. I'm going to choose this one here. That looks good. I can change the horizontal shadow strength. I'm going to undo the changes there. The vertical. I'm going to undo that and leave it. That looks good. That looks good. Now, what I want to do is move it to the left. So I'm going to come over to the left margin. Click, hold. And come to the left. Minus 150. That looks good. Next, I'm going to go back here, close that, and let's put a box shadow on the button. And I want to animate the box shadow. So I'm going to choose this box shadow here, click that, and you can see it puts a box shadow underneath. And I'm going to come down here. I want to animate the box shadow so that when you hover over the button, the box shadow appears. There's no box shadow, and then when you hover it, there is a box shadow. It'll be a cool little effect. So what I need to do is, I need to come over here to box shadow vertical position. And you see this arrow with a circle around it? I'm going to click that. That allows you to create a hover effect. So default is before you hover, and hovers, you would click hover to put what you want it to do after you hover. So for default, I'm going to keep that at, I'm going to put that to zero. Because I don't want the shadow to you hover over it. And then for hover, I'm going to put it to 12. And as you can see, as I slide to the right, the shadow becomes longer. So I'll put that to 12. That looks good. Next, I want to change the box shadow blur strength. So I'm going to click the hover icon again. For default, I'm going to keep that at 6. I change it to 6. And for the hover, when, it's, when you hover over it, I want it to be much more blurred, so change it to 18. So default, you don't see it. Hover, you do see it. Same here. Default, you don't see it. And hover, you do. That looks good. I'm going to keep everything else the same. And next I want to add some animation. So I'm going to come over here, animation, click the down arrow. I'm going to click slide, because I want it to slide. But I want it to slide up. So I'm going to go to animation direction, and click here, and choose up. And now it'll slide up when the page loads. And I'm going to delay it by 500 milliseconds. There we go. And I'll keep everything else the same. I like that. That looks good. Once I'm done, I'll save the changes by clicking here. Now I want to come down here and I'll click this purple circle. And that opens the menu. And I want to click the Save button to make sure I save my changes for the whole page.
I want to move this these text blocks over just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back, design, spacing, move it to the left, go to 400, 25. That looks good. This one, design, spacing. 175, move this up. Looks good. And I want to move my button over as well. Design, spacing, to the left. Take it to 175, that looks good. I'm going to save the changes. And you can see it's saved now. Next, I want to add a parallax display. So I'm going to come back up here. And I want to make the background parallax so that when I scroll down, it looks like this is moving over top while the background is moving as well. So I'm going to come over here to the gear icon, click it, go to background. And you can see there's my background image. And now I want to use a parallax effect. So I'll click yes. And there we go. You can see that I got rid of the space that was between my image, background image, and the next section. And I'm going to keep it on true parallax. Save the changes. Come down here. Click save. That looks good. I like that. It looks really nice. Next I want to add a divider. So I'm going to come over here. Click the gear icon in the section module. Go to design. Dividers, open that up. And I want to put the divider on the bottom, so I'm going to click bottom. And here I'm going to choose a divider style. Divi has tons of dividers, they give you a very long list here. I want to choose this one here, a wave divider. That looks nice. I'm going to keep the color like it is, white. But I want to change the divider height. I want to make it a little bit more wavy, so I'm going to click and just drag over until I have it where I want it. Keep it at 150, that looks nice. I don't want to flip the divider. Save the changes. Save the changes. That looks good. One thing I forgot to do is I want to add a color animation to my button so that when you hover it over it, it lightens in color. So I'm going to design. Come down to button. And where it says button background color, I'm going to click the hover icon. And for the hover color, I want to make it lighter. So we'll come down here and I'll just drag this up so it's a little bit lighter. That looks good. Click the check mark. And now, Default, hover. I like that. Save the changes. Save the changes. That looks good. Beautiful.